In this episode of the Huberman Lab podcast, Dr. Adam Grant, a professor of organizational psychology at the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania, joins as a guest to discuss peer-reviewed studies and tools based on the data from those studies that can enable people to meet their goals and overcome significant challenges. One of the key topics discussed in the podcast is procrastination. Dr. Grant shares his insights on why people procrastinate and how it is not necessarily a sign of laziness or lack of discipline. He explains that procrastination is often driven by the avoidance of negative emotions such as boredom, fear, or anxiety. He also shares his own experience of being a procrastinator, someone who feels the pressure and focus of a deadline from the moment a project starts. The conversation delves into the relationship between procrastination and creativity, with Dr. Grant sharing research findings that moderate procrastination can actually fuel creativity. He explains that people who procrastinate moderately are more likely to generate novel ideas because they give themselves time to let the task incubate in the back of their minds. This process allows for unexpected connections and remote knowledge to come into play, leading to more creative outcomes. The discussion then shifts to the topic of intrinsic motivation and its role in performance. Dr. Grant emphasizes the importance of finding a sense of purpose or a meaningful outcome when intrinsic motivation is difficult to come by. He shares insights from research on the boring but important effect, which shows that individuals who have a purpose for learning are more persistent and achieve better results. The conversation continues with a discussion about the benefits and drawbacks of extrinsic motivation. Dr. Grant explains that while extrinsic rewards can boost productivity and quantity of output, they may not necessarily lead to higher quality or thoroughness in tasks. He also highlights the potential undermining effect of extrinsic rewards on intrinsic motivation, emphasizing the importance of autonomy and control in the workplace to mitigate these negative effects. The conversation then shifts to the impact of social media and technology on our ability to focus and generate creative ideas. Dr. Huberman and Dr. Grant explore the concept of time confetti, where constant interruptions and distractions fragment our attention and erode our ability to concentrate on meaningful tasks. They discuss the importance of setting boundaries and creating uninterrupted time blocks for deep work, as well as the potential impact of chronotypes on optimal productivity and creativity. One of the most intriguing topics discussed is the process of generating creative ideas and the different approaches individuals take to foster creativity. Dr. Huberman and Dr. Grant delve into the idea of deliberate stillness and deliberate motion as methods for stimulating creative thinking. They explore the concept of neural energy and how different states of mind and body can influence the generation and filtering of ideas. Dr. Grant shares his personal approach to filtering ideas by seeking feedback from a diverse group of individuals and using their input to refine and improve his work. He emphasizes the importance of receiving multiple perspectives and not letting negative feedback deter one from pursuing their creative endeavors. The conversation continues with a reflection on the value of feedback and the need to balance individual judgment with external input. Dr. Huberman and Dr. Grant highlight the importance of discerning between idiosyncratic opinions and quality feedback and the role of resilience in the face of criticism. The discussion also touches on the concept of growth mindset and how it can be more impactful when combined with a supportive environment. Dr. Grant explores the idea of dual mindset, which involves not only having a growth mindset about one's own abilities, but also about the flexibility of one's job and tasks. This dual mindset can lead to sustainable boosts in happiness and performance. One of the key takeaways from the conversation is the idea of contrast effects and how extreme intrinsic motivation in one task can lead to lower performance in other, less interesting tasks. This highlights the importance of balancing one's focus and energy across different types of tasks to avoid the negative impact of extreme motivation on other areas of work. The conversation also delves into the concept of momentum and how positive experiences can lead to a carryover of energy and motivation into other tasks. Dr. Grant discuss 
as the potential benefits of segmenting negative experiences by using strategies such as distraction and reframing to avoid getting stuck in negative thought spirals. The conversation delves into the concept of blind spots and the bias blind spot, where individuals believe they are more objective than others. Dr. Grant explains the importance of recognizing blind spots and seeking feedback from others to gain a clearer understanding of strengths and weaknesses. He shares the reflective best self exercise, where individuals collect stories from others about times when they were at their best, helping them identify their strengths and common themes in those situations. The discussion also touches on the role of unconscious biases and the need to think like a scientist. Dr. Grant explains that individuals often think like preachers, prosecutors, or politicians, which can hinder their ability to question their own assumptions and beliefs. Thinking like a scientist involves having the humility to know what one doesn't know and the curiosity to seek out new knowledge. This approach can lead to improved judgment and decision-making. The conversation also addresses the importance of following people with differing views on social media to stretch one's thinking and challenge preconceived notions. Dr. Grant acknowledges the challenges of, so of social media and the need to balance authenticity with etiquette. He emphasizes the importance of multiple selves and the need to be genuine without using it as an excuse for disrespectful behavior. Dr. Grant shares a personal story about his experience as a diver, where he lacked many of the natural abilities typically associated with the sport. Despite this, his coach saw potential in him and encouraged him to set specific difficult goals to improve. This experience taught Dr. Grant the value of embracing discomfort and overcoming obstacles to achieve unexpected growth. The conversation also delves into the idea of challenging oneself by starting new projects that may not succeed. Dr. Grant shares his idea for a podcast where individuals debate controversial topics and can tag in others to challenge arguments, creating a space for diverse perspectives and insights. He also considers the possibility of writing a sci-fi novel, weighing the potential diversion from his current work against the opportunity for creative expression. Towards the end of the podcast, Dr. Grant shares insights from his book, Hidden Potential, discussing how individuals can tap into their latent abilities and achieve their full potential. He emphasizes the importance of recognizing and nurturing the potential in others, particularly children, and offers practical advice for parents on how to support their children's development.